What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the RP series and the quest system. Today we're gonna be adding a very small dialogue at the very start when we interact with the quest giver, just to make it a bit more fancy, you know? It's gonna be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so in the last episode, we were going uh, and making this uh, quest giver, which we can interact, we can see our quest available, we can select one of them, and we can see the uh, name, the description, the if it's main or secondary, and all the uh, objectives that we have. And if we have completed them or not, and we can select the quest, and then it will be assigned in our panel here, we can see again the objectives and so on. Now, this is another thing that we're going to do, that actually is a bug left from the other day, is that basically if you select a quest here and then go into another one, you can see the objectives start to add up. So basically we just have to clear this um, list of objectives every time that we select a new one. So let's quickly do that. So let's go into the quest system and open the WB Quest Giver widget. And when it opens up, let's go to the graph. And then when we select a quest over here, basically before doing the for each loop and all that stuff, I'm going to just get the uh, where is it? the objectives vertical box and just do a clear children and that will basically fix the issue so now I can just go into our quest giver interact with it and you start uh, selecting all stuff and you can see that now the objectives will not be added so that's it Fix. <laughs> all right so let's begin with the dialogue so what I am going to do is create a new widget so right click, use a widget, widget uh, blueprint, use a widget that will be, and let's make this a uh, quest giver uh, dialog. And let's open this up. So let's go and in the palette, add a canvas panel so we can start placing things on our UI. And we're gonna get an image and use expand it. And this will be anchored in the bottom part. Uh, let's make the position X zero. And then let's put the alignment on X to be 0.5. So it'll be exactly at the center of the screen. Now we can play around the size and the alignment and the position and so on. But honestly, kind of this will work for me. I'm going to change the color and then also put it a bit more transparent. And let's add again the background blur that I always love. It looks pretty nice. We have the blur. So let me add this. Also, let me rename this to be this the background. And then also let's uncheck its variable because we don't need to access this from the code. And then the background blur, basically let's make it the same as our big panel. So the same, you know, uh, anchors and so on. So let's set the, this one here, put it in the bottom part of the screen. The alignment on X, 0.5. The size will basically be, and this one on X. So let's copy and paste it. So it'll be the same. And then the same with Y, copy and paste and then in the background blur let's put the position this one to be on zero and then on y it will be this one so let's copy and paste so basically i'm just pasting this background blur exactly in the same position and size that the uh, panel the background let's put some blur strength maybe like 10 and then what we can do is just get a text drag it uh, i like to put it outside and then enter it and then make sure that this is the text and well dialog text and then we can just put its variable because we will need to access this and then we can just make it as big as we want and this is a test and you can see that it will start typing here and whatsoever so that will basically go ahead and work uh, so let's go into our quest giver blueprint which is this guy over here and when we interact, instead of uh, directly just going and doing this, we are going to be, you know, uh, going ahead and making the dialogue. So first of all, this will only happen if we have not uh, the, the quest giver widget already active. So let's move this a bit up here. So on here, we're gonna create another widget. All right, so this will be later on. So for now, we'll do this. And this will be our uh, dialogue. And then we can just add this into the viewport over here. So it'll be added into the player screen. 
and then basically once this is completed we'll call this okay but for now i'm gonna just make a custom event which will be open uh, quest quests widget and then we'll later go ahead and call this okay but right now when we interact with this guy you can see now we have the uh, UI here which the text is not aligned let me go quickly here and the anchor put it in the bottom part so you can see now it's resolved so I can interact and this is the test and that stuff will go ahead and appear so now we need to go and start traveling through the different um, things so every time that we click the E key it will start to basically continue in the dialogue so we're gonna have is a new variable and this will be dialogue and this will be a string and it will be a array so it will be basically a list of text it will be like hello adventure uh, i just inventing random stuff here okay put what you want i am uh i well, i need someone to help me with this could you help me i don't know just random stuff <laughs> okay so this will be my dialogue so now every time that we will you know click the e key this will go ahead and travel so let me make a new variable and this will be um dialogue opened and this will be a boolean and of course it will be just a single variable and basically i'm gonna make a new branch here so if dialogue opened is not boolean so it is not true it will create a widget but if not it will simply just go through the next iteration so i can just get the um the index so dialog index which will be a new variable basically an integer and then you set it so just right click promote this to variable dialog widget so now we have a reference to this widget and we can access that text that we created before and then in here we're going to be setting the text which is in this case well sorry not set the text we need to get a dialogue widget and then get the text which in this case it is the dialogue text and then set the text so this will be our this one here and now with that we can pass in the text which will be our dialogue an array and we can just get a copy this is basically part of the just one of the index right here and this is the specific index so in this case it will be our dialog index and we can just pass that over there it will do the conversion and that's it great so as you can see we will need to also put dialog opened to true over here and connect this and now we should be able to cycle through that so i can just go open this this is a test uh hello there, there we go hello adventure it doesn't work anymore <laughs> and you can see that also initially we do have to uh, pass on the first array too okay don't worry we'll fix that in a in a second yeah sorry because i forgot to get the dialog index and add it because of course we have to add the index um so we'll continue going through the arrays so now hello adventure i need some help and can you help me with this and of course when we reach the end it will basically stuck and break so i can just make a branch over here and see if the dialog index is bigger than the dialog and let's get the length so we can see how big is this and if it is we'll basically just uh, close the just get the dialog widget which is where is it, where is it here and i can just say remove from parent and just set it to be false and then also very important set the dialog index to be zero and then the dialog opened to be false and with that now we can call our open quest widget and that will do its job and now if i go here don't worry we need to get rid of that this is the test at the beginning but now i can cycle to this and then as you can see where it finishes, 
it will open the widget. So everything is gonna end up working. Now this is a total mess right now because I gonna use, you know, made it like this very quick. So let me just uh, go ahead and just put it a bit nicer. So we can just put this over here like this, this up there, up there, this here, and this branch will go over here. It's a bit nicer, and then this here, and overall that's a bit nicer. Okay. Great, so that will basically go ahead and work. Now, there's a few things I want to do from the start directly when we enter the dialog, and it's basically to do this. So set the mouse cursor to be active, and also set the input mode. So actually, I'm gonna move this, so Control X, and just connect this back again, and put it there. And let's do this uh, from the start on here when we create the dialog, okay? Like so. So now, from the start, when we press play, that will happen. Of course, we have to get rid of that. But now, every time I press E, we'll continue with that. And there we go. So let's set that initial one. Um, so what I can do is go and uh, in here, when we create the dialog text, I can just set the text over here to be this. So basically, just copy and paste that. So I'm gonna go here. Put that before that. Now, you can see it will go here, hello venter, and also we need to set initially the index to be 1, not 0, so also in here, 1, so in both the variable in there, and now yes, we can enter, uh, no, sorry, that, that will not be the case, uh, it's actually 0, so 0, 0, hello venter, I need some help uh, with this, can you help me? This opens and I can press E, open it, sorry, close again. And I can go back here and open this help enter. Need some help with this, can you help me? And it will just go ahead and work. Now there's the thing, and it's that uh, actually, we need to do this, this add an index also after here. Okay, after we said that initially. So now, help enter, I need some help with this, can you help me? And it will just work perfectly. So that's it guys, if you found this tutorial helpful, I would really appreciate you like video and subscribe to my channel. The private files will be available in my Patreon and YouTube members, so check them out. Uh, join my Discord server and follow me on all my socials. And now yes, with all that said, bye bye.